All right, so in this video, I'm going to be solving the equation 10 to the power of x is equal to 20. So to solve this, I'm going to start off by taking the log on both sides. So I get log of 10 to the power of x is equal to log of 20. From here, if I have something in the form log of a to the power of b, this is equal to b times log a. So log of 10 to the power of x, I can move x to the front, and I get x times log 10 is equal to log 20. From here, I'm going to divide both sides by log 10. So these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 20 over log 10. Now, we want to find the exact decimal value. So, to start off, log 10, well, if I have, if I'm saying the log of a number, this is the same thing as the log of base 10 of a number. And if I have something in the form log of base a of a, this is just equal to 1, meaning log of 10 is equal to 1. So, I get x is equal to log 20 over 1, which is just log 20. Now, let's find the exact value of this. Log 20 is equal to log of 5 times 4. And if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So x is going to equal log 5 plus log 4. From here, log of 5, if I plug that into a calculator, log of 5 is equal to 0 0.699. And now I'm going to do the same for log 4. I'm going to plug this into a calculator. So log of 4 is equal to 0 0.602. So I have 0 0.699 plus 0 0.602, which is equal to 1.204. So this is my solution to this equation. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share this video to your friends or family. Thank you. Bye. All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve an interesting exponential equation. So my equation is 100 to the power of x is equal to 400. And I want to find the value of x. So we see that x is going to be in between 1 and 2 because 100 to the power of 1 is 100 and 100 to the power of 2 is 10,000. So it's going to be more closer to 1 than it is 2 but it's going to be somewhere in the range of 1 and 2. So to solve this what I'm going to be using is logarithms. So I'm going to first start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log 100 to the power of x is equal to log 400. And if I have something in the form of log a to the power of b, move this exponent to b to the front, so I get b times log a. In this case, I have log 100 to the power of x. I can move x to the front. So I get x times log 100 is equal to log 400. Now, I'm going to take the log of base 100. So, 
log base 100 of 100 is just 1. And log base 100 of 400, well, 400 is the same thing as 10, 100 times 4. So I can rewrite this as log base 100 of 100 times 4, which is equal to log of 4 over log 100. And I have 1 plus this because of this. So now log of 4 is the same thing as log of 2 squared. And log of 100 is the same thing as log of 10 squared. So I can move the 2 to the front and the 2 to the front over here. So I get x is equal to 1 plus 2 log 2 over 2 log 10. These two cancel out. So I get x is equal to 1 plus log 2 over log 10, which is equal to 0 0.301. So x is equal to 1.301.